All right, Victor here again, and um, finally I got this unit uh, repaired. And um, well, basically to make the story short, mailed it out to Gene at uh, Rebuild Systems that he advertises on eBay. He mailed it back to me. I didn't have fuel coming out those three, um, and I didn't have three cylinders basically receiving fuel. There was no fuel coming out. I uh, had to open the unit up and it turned out that he messed it up. He didn't change my diaphragm. I have some other videos for that. So now I just got my own rebuild kit. I put it all back together and it actually was very difficult to realign it again uh, because I couldn't get it all aligned. So now uh, I had uh, um, test. Uh, I have tested it yesterday night and uh, I'm just going to show it real quick. I'm not going to have bunch of fuel come out but I have a video even though it's dark but you can see how the fuel comes out now so the first thing is we want to jump the fuel pump I'm gonna do right now and you do not want to have any fuel come out the, the fuel ports um, under pressure so you can see fuel pump is on and I can hear that the fuel is running through we can see look at the ports no fuel is coming out but you can hear the pump circulating through the uh, fuel pressure regulator so it does work now second test is we have the fuel pump running come on okay so fuel pump is running I'm going to deflect the plate a little bit but uh, I'm not gonna do it for too much but once you deflect it you can see fuel starts to raise and it comes out just enough just the right amount which is perfect I mean I'm really happy with this result so it seems like the metering is perfectly fine so this way you also bleed it a little bit you see how they all filled up with fuel I'm pressing on the plate I'm not putting a lot so I'm not gonna have a lot of fuel come out because I'm going to actually try to start the car now and um, yeah, that's gonna take a while actually to start it because it's so misadjusted but um, I'll do it so that's why I'm not making the fuel to just really squirt out a lot because I don't want engine to be all soaked in fuel it's soaked with fuel a lot anyway so um, so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do to jump the fuel pump you have to put positive from the main unfused that's unfused so there's no fuses there from that terminal that's a positive terminal straight from the battery and you have to remove the mass controller shut it down you have to remove the mass controller and terminal number two which is this one right here is the fuel pump signal so you're gonna jump po positive to this terminal that's gonna activate fuel pump to run it constantly so I'm gonna put my mass back in and I'm gonna pause this video for a sec and I'm going to put on fuel lines now and we're gonna to try to crank it and see if we can get it to run okay uh, I tightened up the fuel lines real quick not too tight because I will have to remove this fuel distributor again anyhow the rain is about to break down so let's try to start it real quick see what I can get out of it I'm sure it's not gonna start but it's gonna take a while to adjust it Come on now. Okay. It caught up for a second. Come on. Okay, let it sit for a sec. Okay. Let it sit for a second. Let's see what we get. What I'm gonna do next is this. I'm gonna take my wrench. Alright. First look around if I see any kind of fuel leaks. Seems to be okay for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze my wrench in here because it's not getting enough fuel right now. It's not gonna fall in, but hopefully I'll get it to start for a second. Because I want it to, to run. Too much air. 
I hear the injectors, which is really nice. Check the injectors themselves. Okay, I'm gonna have to put on the fuel pump and get these injectors to actually pump. Because uh, I'm not getting any uh, constant fuel pressure. Alright, let me put it, let me pause it for a second. Alright, so basically I loosened up all the injectors to bleed air, so this is what happens with the plate deflected slightly. As you saw fuel started to come out, so we do have fuel inside these injector lines now. So we can start it up again, at least to try to start it. The pressure sounds really nice. So they're all like moist and wet, so I now have no air in lines anywhere. Not too, too, not too good to have all this gasoline all over the place, but you know, what are you gonna do? Alright, so now the air air mixture screw is all messed up right now so i'm gonna close it again oh boy that's gonna be not fun but let's get this thing try to start it up and give it some some love come on now my fuel ratio is completely off right now, I see it, I feel it actually, it's just crazy off. But that's how it's gonna be because I, I was messing around with it so much, so, because I wasn't sure and it turned out to be that fuel distributor that he got, he got to me was messed up. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lean it out, and see if I can lean it out first, and see if I can get this thing to two actually okay yeah okay so we have a little bit of a play here so it's not pushing on it too much I believe it's supposed to be like a two millimeter play or such so let me just go backwards for a quick step okay let's try it this way well, let's put it in okay let's try to start it again was better it's much better okay so let's see the play is there it actually caught up for a quick second that's nice just make it a little bit richer now okay here all right try it again let me get inside this time <clears throat> okay pump the pressure up for trance okay. okay now real quick if rain is gonna completely mess me up Gah! I lost it all right well rain is starting so I gotta All right. That's how it runs. It runs really nice, actually. Okay, now I gotta gotta close up my cars here. Okay, cold start is off, and. Runs beautiful. Hopefully this is this rain is gonna pass, but I have to close down for a second. I'm gonna sit inside the car, let it warm up a little bit. If rain passes, then I'll continue the recording. <laughs> 